If a stranger orders you to do something, are you obliged to comply? That's the question I'm asking you to think about for the rest of this video. On January 24, 2011, I went to Keene District Court to support my friend Ethan Lee Vitta. Almost as soon as I sat down, I was ordered by bailiff Peter Macy to remove my hat. I didn't do so because I was cold. It was in the negatives outside, yet even if it was nice outside, he didn't have any more authority to tell me to remove my hat. I was sitting there peacefully, and because of that, I was tackled to the ground, had a knee put on my neck, I was put in a cage where I was held for three and a half days until I processed. I was charged with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct, charges that were later dismissed thanks to a lot of public support by a lot of good friends and a lot of folks who you know, saw the incident for what it was. Um, excessive force, unaccountability, and uh, I later learned that uh, Lance Walton, Pete Ma Peter Macy's boss, had ordered him to write a report about that incident. What I'm going to have you do is just make sure you do your report. Or you got to do your report too. Right. Okay. I worked for uh, over two months to get that report. I finally got it, and that's what the point of this video is, to show how Pete Macy, uh, like pretty much every other government employee, bureaucrat, person with a badge I've encountered, is willing to lie and distort the facts to protect themselves or protect the system uh, where they live off of other people. In this video, I'm going to show the, the content that was captured of the day from my friends who thankfully had cameras and used them, again, proving how powerful a tool the video camera is to hold those accountable who purport to work for us and serve us. Uh, you know, the video doesn't lie, so I'm going to show, show the raw footage uh, and read Peter Macy's report and just point out where he, in fact, does lie to protect himself and distort the facts. Name of Free State or Not Given he entered courtroom number one in District Court of Key, New Hampshire. He was part of a group of 10 to 12 other supporters for the hearing. When he entered the courtroom number one, he had a cap on his head, a sweat jacket with a hood, and blue jean pants. As soon as he came into the courtroom, I said, Sir, please remove your cap, but he kept walking past me. As he and his group of supporters seated themselves, I again said, Sir, please remove your cap. He did not comply. I then walked up to him and said, Please remove your cap. He then answered me that his head was cold. The courtroom temperature was between 68 and 71 degrees. I then stepped forward and asked the gentleman to please give me his cap. He refused. I again asked four more times to please remove your cap in the court. He refused and said his head was cold. I now asked the gentleman to please get up and come with me and that I wanted him to sit in the lobby with his cap. He refused. As I put my right hand under his left arm for removal from the courtroom, he suddenly dropped to the ground as dead weight and curved himself into a ball. He now began screaming at me and resisted my physical efforts to remove him. At this point, Sergeant James Cimarellis and Officer Matt Griffin came to my assistance and advised the gentleman that he was under arrest. What, is, sir? That's my problem. You're out of here. Get out. Get out. Get up and get out. You can go under arrest. Get Excuse me. What are you guys doing? Under arrest. They placed him in handcuffs. He was asked to get up, and they would escort him to the transport area. He refused. What the hell, you guys? I won't leave my head on. It's my property. It's my body. I'm not hurting anybody. What are you guys doing? Why don't you act like real Why don't you treat people like people? What are you doing? What are you guys doing, man? He's a peaceful person. What are you guys doing, man? Hey! Dude! This force is not necessary. I think it's clear who's a. You guys, I was trying to sit down. I was not being disrespectful. And this is what you guys do to me because. No. I to my hat on. Stand up. Within moments, Sergeant Cimarellis and Officer Griffin had the gentleman under both arms and dragged him out of the courtroom to an adjacent lobby awaiting transport. You guys are hurting him. I mean, that's not right. You guys can let him go.
guys. Excuse me, sir, you're blocking a walkway. Really hate hey. to eat some wood? For not taking their hat off? What are you guys doing, man? Now you're choking me with my hoodie, man. That's not cool. Come on, man. That's not right. The Free Staters were trying to video him and record his efforts to cause greater confusion. And seriously, is this necessary? That's a, I, mean, I wasn't it in there, guys, but I... Well, he's wearing a hat. Guys, I'm not going to get in an argument with you or anything, but I that's mean, all. Come on, you got to have an opinion. Decision, not mine. Drag a guy around, a grown man. Wow. Like I'm not going to get him. in that argument. You don't want people to see what your colleagues are doing? Or, I mean, come on. Just worried about my friend. I just want to watch him and make sure he's all right. It's really not that big of a deal. I mean, if you're confident your friends aren't going to hurt him, then you wouldn't have a problem with me watching. What's your name, sir? Don't want to tell people your name. Nobody's harming anybody by wearing a hat. So, what I'm going to have you do is just make sure you do your report. Or you got to do your report too. Right. Okay. Okay. You know, a lot of folks have told me to work through the system and hold these guys accountable. So, I've even had a conversation with a couple of Liberty Freeman lawyers here in the Shire, and unfortunately, and uh, probably pretty accurately, they tell me that there's little chance that. Uh, bringing charges against these guys is going to bear any fruit. Um, so instead, uh, th that's the purpose of this video, to, to share uh, exactly how these people have acted, what they've said, and hopefully, uh, you know, continue to win in the court of public opinion. Just show these folks for what they are and encourage you not to fund them and their violent activities. So I appreciate your time.